We have two orangutans at the Racine Zoo. Max, our male, can be distinguished by the large cheek pads that he has on his face or flanges. He also has a large throat sack on his chest and really long hair. So these distinguishing features are developed as they reach maturity. Prior to reaching maturity, male orangutans actually look exactly like female orangutans. Max and Jenny were born at the Henry Vilas Zoo in Madison, Wisconsin. They came to Racine in 1986 and are actually the zoo's second longest residents, having come here just a few months after our white-handed gibbons. Jenny tends to spend a lot of time up at the front of the exhibit. She likes to color in the exhibit with chalk, and she's quite active throughout the day doing a lot of climbing and swinging. When she's not active, Jenny does like to spend a lot of time in her hammocks watching our guests. Jenny's a keen observer and will spend a lot of time interacting with guests and particularly with children. Max tends to spend more of his time towards the back of the exhibit. He's much more interested in what the keeper staff are doing throughout the day. Max is also a great problem solver. He'll spend a lot of time focused on really difficult enrichment projects and enjoys difficult training. The majority of animals at the zoo participate in our behavioral management program more simply known as a training program. So training is another form of enrichment because it allows our animals to be mentally and physically stimulated. For orangutans in particular, we never go into the exhibit with them. So training actually allows us to shift them off exhibit so that we can clean their exhibit and provide them with new enrichment and then shift them back onto exhibit. Training is also used just to provide them with some mental stimulation throughout the day. So we'll do fun things like play matching games or even create art projects with them. A large portion of the training with our orangutans is actually medically based. So just like with humans, going under anesthesia can have some risks. We don't want to have to use anesthesia with our animals when unnecessary. So training is one way that we can collect various samples and provide treatments without having to use an anesthetic. For our orangutans, that means they participate in things like voluntary blood draws, where we're able to draw blood as we need to and have it tested. We'll collect urine, um, but we'll also do things like preventative care. So as needed, we could trim nails, clean ears, and brush teeth. 